some curious comments here from Anthony Joshua. He says that for the first time in his career, he's actually working on a game plan ahead of this rematch with Alexander Yusek. So AJ said here, this is the first time in my career I'd say we are specifically working on a game plan. I've based a lot of my success on raw ability, but the raw ability wasn't enough. So now I'm going to try out this game plan training and see how it goes. I plan to go back to the basics and take this guy out. And he goes on to say, I always said, who am I without the belts? Even when sitting here, I'm not a champion right now. Even when I took that hit to Ruiz, it started unfolding that championship status. I wasn't the champion anymore. I'd already prepared myself for the stumbling blocks of the game that I'm in. I'm about rebuilding, staying strong and staying championship mindset, even though you don't have the titles. Even in taking that knock, it's just part of the journey I'm on. All right, those are the words of AJ. Now, saying that this is the first time he's worked on a game plan for a fight seems unlikely to me. Surely they worked on a game plan for the Ruiz rematch. Is AJ suggested that he just went in there and instinctively started doing what he did in that Ruiz rematch? Moving around, not engaging, tying him up on the inside. This was all instinctive. They didn't plan it. <laughs> they didn't train for that game plan. I find that difficult to believe. Also, other fights like, for example, the Klitschko fight, they had no game plan for that. They just went in there winging it. You know, there are some fights where AJ switched things up on the fly, like when he fought Alexander Povetkin, because he started that fight holding his ground and trying to meet Povetkin head on. He wasn't pushing Povetkin back, but he wasn't being backed up. And he ended up with a bloody nose and he got his knees buckled at the end of the first round, I seem to remember, because of that particular approach. So after he got hit with a few counters by Povetkin, he decided to start moving, using his jab and walking Povetkin onto shots. And that worked a lot better. And that resulted in AJ winning by seventh round TKO. So in that fight there, I don't know whether they had a game plan to start with, but AJ certainly adjusted during the fight. He tailored his tactics, you know, in real time to what his opponent was doing. So AJ has shown the ability to adjust at least in one fight there. Uh, but does that mean that he's never had a plan and that he always wings it every time? Again, I find it difficult to believe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe he's talking about the extent of the game plan. Perhaps the game plans before were a bit more loose and fluid, but this game plan is really rigid. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. And do you, like me, find it hard to believe that AJ has never worked to a game plan before in training camp or never worked on, should I say, a game plan before in training camp? And will this work for the Alexander Usyk fight? See, the thing about a game plan is you have to believe in it. And when you believe in it, that means you stick to it. And that might involve rounds going by where you don't feel like you're doing well but maybe the coach can see certain things and he, he'll tell you, no, 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 just stick to what you're doing. He's going to start coming apart. I can see it from the outside that what you're implemented in there as far as our game plan is working. So don't lose faith in the plan. You know, sometimes the fight will need to be encouraged that the plan is actually working when he doesn't feel like it is. So this is the thing about game plans. Some fighters really need a game plan instilled in them by their coach. Other fighters are really very instinctive, you know, like a Floyd Mayweather. Do you think there was ever a time when Mayweather had to be told, this is what the plan's going to be against this particular guy and had it drilled into him constantly during training camp? Or do you think Mayweather's a guy who always knew how to figure it out for himself? Perhaps he'd get little pointers here and there, an extra set of eyes from the corner, but ultimately Mayweather was making all the calculations and he understood what he had to do 
after looking at the guy for a couple rounds. Because sometimes you can look at somebody on tape and you expect them to do certain things in the fight. And when fight night comes, they don't do those things. <laughs> and now you're left thinking, okay, well, my game plan was based upon them doing these particular things, which they're no longer doing. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below.